Hi. Hi everybody. I'm back with another Timu haul and I just wanted to open this one up. I'm wearing the jacket that I had in my last haul, which I just got done filming. And I just wanted to say, let this serve as an example of, you know, trying new things um, that may be a little bit outside your comfort zone or outside your style choices, because you never know when you'll be pleasantly surprised. I love this jacket. So anyway, and I, I mean, I, this is not something I would normally have picked, but I love it. So take a chance sometime and, uh, and get outside of your comfort zone and outside of that box for you. All right. So we're here for another Timu haul. Um, I'm not going to go through all the Timo mumbo jumbo. You can check out the description. There's a, co there's lots of different codes and there's links to the products we're going to look at, but let's jump right in. Cause I think I've got enough time to film one more video before the family gets home. So we will start out. I got a couple more pins for my mood bag. And so this first one, and these, this one has a rubber back to it, which I definitely prefer. And I'll explain why when I show you the next one, but it's just a cute little turtle that says introvert. So that'll go, I'll put both of these on the bag at, after I do this one. Oh, but this little turtle pin was $1.27 and it has price adjusted down to 98 cents. So don't forget to go in and look to see if you have any price adjustments on your orders. You do have to look for them yourself. Just go to your orders, click on them, and then it'll, you know, the same place where you can see if you wanted to return something, you'll also see in that spot if there's a, an adjustment available. And then you click on it and just walk through the steps and you'll get your difference back. So this one has the old traditional metal back, but I've decided I don't like this one as much because the pin part is sticking up um, past it and it's, it's um, sharp. So I'm going to take that one off um, because it also, I've noticed the ones that come with the metal backs also come with the rubber ones. But now the big reveal, it's too peopley outside. And yes, that E is a little bit, um, it didn't get quite all the ink on the bottom part of the E. But yeah, this fits my <laughs> introverted theme. Um, and this pin was 68 cents and it's still 68 cents. All right, so let's get, let's uncover the mood bag, which has been covered by a bunch of other junk since we started this. So far, I'm still putting all these on the front. You can see we've got a few. So let me, let me try to pick out some good spots for these. But yeah, I've got... I've got some that are more like remind me more of my childhood. Um, and so those I'll probably stick more on the back because they're kind of cartoony. Um, and at some point I'll probably come in or take these all out and like arrange them, you know, not so haphazardly. But um, for for our purposes right now, it doesn't matter, right? I'm just, it's a canvas bag, a canvas mood bag that I showed on a different haul. And I'm just, I bought this specifically to put pins on because there were so many cute pins out there, but I don't want to put them on my clothes. I could put them on a hat. You know, a lot of people do that too. There we go. Now we've added Mr. Little Introvert Turtle and it's too peopley outside. So it's, we're getting a little collection there. All right, so that was those little, oh, I don't want to lose that, although I probably will never use this metal back, but you never know. All right, next, okay, this I got on a, I either got it on a lightning deal or a press your luck deal. Press your luck. I was saying Whammy because that's the only thing I could think of. I couldn't think of the name of the actual game show, but it was Press Your Luck that had the square 
you know, that it would go around and land on something. Well, there's no whammies on the Timu version. There's just discounts and coupons. So I got this one um, with one of those deals, but it is a angel solar light. And I've mentioned on here before that my very first child was stillborn and we have a memorial tree for her in our front yard and, and there's a plaque. Um, and so I got this to go under that tree um, and hopefully it's not broken because the box is kind of um, smashed up a bit. Um, so hopefully it'll still be okay if I can get it out. But, um, but yeah, the, and this angel came in different colors. Um, it's got, it's got flowers like on the wings, but you can see it came in different colors and I got the pink one. Yeah. Pink. Um, cause it was a girl and, um, you know, me pink is for girls and blue is for boys when we're dividing things up around here. All right. I'm afraid. I don't know where like all the pieces are, so I'm afraid it's gonna. Okay. Oh, it looks super. Oh, it's in here with zip ties. Oh, crud. I don't. I don't think my decorative scissors are gonna be enough to. Oh, well, that did work. So hang on. Just have to kind of go back and forth. Okay, let's hope that was it. So I can't, I don't see anything yet that makes me think it's broken. So we might have gotten lucky. Let me set this down here real quick because there, the stand for it is on the back side and I don't want it to fall. Okay. Okay, well that's not gonna stay there. So let me get this in the trash. Okay, so usually this part is separate when I've been getting these, but they've already put the little stake on it. And then um, put this in here to join it. And I'm not gonna join it to this part, but this would go in here. I'll, I'll wait to do that till I've got it upstairs. But it's got the solar catcher here, and this has got a film on it that will take off. And it's also got an on-off switch back here. Um, I don't really know what the purpose of that is, except it seems like if it's off, that even if it's collecting solar, it wouldn't, it wouldn't shine up at night. So I've just been leaving them on. I don't know if that's the right thing or not. But look at this, this is so pretty. Well, not my face. Let me <laughs> put it like this now. I, I I noticed with this setup, I'm getting like super close. I think it's because I can't see very well because um, I'm farther away from the monitor. But look how pretty that is. So it's got, these are metal flowers that have been painted. And this feels like plastic, which is good. It shouldn't break. I don't see any... Um, I don't see any breaks in it anywhere. And then it's wing, it's wings. Yeah, it's wings um, are all, have all the light up stuff wrapped around it. Sometimes these have some of a charge, even the solar stuff. So let me turn it on. Oh. So yeah, so it's got, so if you ever buy one of these, it seems to light up when I touch the solar panel. Um, not really sure why that is, but they all seem to have done that. So, so they've set them out in the sun for a little bit before they come, but that's dar this is darling. I love this. This is probably going to be hard to top in this. Well, actually, it's it would have, well, there's nothing else in the order that's going to top this because of the reason, and it's just so pretty. Um, 
and she's got her hands folded in the center. It's a little hard to see. But yeah, that's beautiful. I'll have to take a picture of that at the end for my thumbnail just because even when I pose for a thumbnail, they just don't turn out very well. All right, I don't want to break that. So actually, I probably can't. With it being metal and plastic, I probably can't break it. But maybe one of those flowers could pop off. I don't know. But anyway, I got that on a lightning deal. I paid $5.49 and it's regularly $8.98. Next. <laughs> so my daughter got a pair of um, patchwork brown jeans. And I thought they were really cute, but they didn't sell. And she got them on Sheen or Shein. Somebody told me it's Shein. Um because of inclusivity. I don't know, maybe that's true. But um I they didn't have they didn't have it in my size. And so then I found these on Timu which kind of has the same effect. I'm glad that it is actually patched jeans. I was so afraid that these were going to like it was going to be um you know how some of that polyester stuff is where it, you think it's going to be patches, but it's really just painted um, and it's not real. But this is real. These are real patches, different colors of blue. Um, it doesn't taper too much there at the end. And then the side is a little bit different. It kind of looks like it's kind of the same style of patches on each side but I maybe they don't line up quite the same um it's hard to see it's got belt loops which is good the last pair of jeans I got didn't so I'm a little worried that they might not fit but it's got a coin pocket a regular real pockets a regular real button and zipper and then on the back one of the pockets has it's well and it's got um this part up here which is only on the back and it's these are stretchy um so just the one pocket has the patchwork on it and then it's just plain oh so the side that doesn't have the special pocket has some patchwork on the back side of the leg so yeah, so those are cute. And this way you can wear it with all different colors of blue. It's got a little fading effect on here. So yeah, I like these. These are a 2X, which is a size 16 in the United States. It's 73% cotton, 14% rayon, 11% polyester, and 2% spandex. And is there another tag? I'm looking to see um, oh it's got pictures for its um, care instructions so warm water wash tumble dry or hang dry don't bleach medium iron well who irons jeans really do people really do that I'm sure my grandma would have ironed jeans but do people nowadays still do that so yeah so I like those help it helps in my my hip transition <laughs> all right so those were i paid 19.97 and got a price adjustment down to 16.96 so that's a good that was a good price adjustment all right next well here i was just talking about ironing and who does that and here i've got a pad for an iron So I don't iron. We talked about this. Why I keep buying this stuff for ironing, I don't know. But I do have kids who sometimes might iron. And I usually I would wait until we were going to go to a hotel and then I take all anything I needed to iron and iron it in the hotel. So if I had a bunch of Girl Scout patches to iron onto things, I would take them to the hotel. What kind of person does that? But anyway, um, 
this is in my line of ironing. I've now bought that cute iron on Timu um, that irons and steams. I've gotten the iron pad that you can drape over things so that you don't need an ironing board. And now I've gotten the ironing mat so you can put your hot iron down on this without fear of burning anything. It comes in lots of different colors. I picked orange because that iron that they sell on Timu is kind of, it's kind of like a green and goldy color that I got. Um, and I thought this color would go with that the most. I don't know why that matters for ironing. I should have just picked the color that I thought was the prettiest, but nope, I picked this one, although it's not bad. Um, but this was $237 and it's gone up in price to $270, but it's silicone. And it's definitely bigger. I mean, the iron that Timu has is probably, you know, it's pretty small. But for those of you who do iron and understand the value of ironing, this would fit your full size iron. All right, next is another yard sign. This is my Halloween one. I've already seen multiple different channels haul this. We all have good taste. I didn't get one specifically that said Happy Halloween. I got this one because it has a cat and I have cats. And so I just thought that was cute. And really, we don't, um, we don't turn our light on for Halloween. You know, we're I mean, really, this is going to be the first year. I mean, this is going to be the sum of my decoration outside for Halloween. But we don't answer the door. We don't really have, I mean, we have some kids in the neighborhood, but I don't know. It seems like most of the people in our area do trunk or treat where you get together at schools and churches and people do trick or treating out of their trunks and stuff. So I don't know. That seems kind of safer. So we don't really answer the door for Halloween or anything. We keep our light off, but so that's why I didn't want to, I didn't really want to get one that said happy Halloween. Um, cause I didn't want to, I didn't want people to think, Oh, well they're going to have candy or something. I don't know. That's kind of silly, silly way to think, but, but anyway, and I thought this was cute and it's the same on both sides. It's a really thick canvas. Um, it would probably fade in the sun, but it won't be out in the sun for very long. And then it's got stitching along here so that your, um, your stand rod would go through that. And this one is stitched well. I got one that kind of goes up and I'm afraid it's not gonna go on my, on the arm very well. But this was, um, where is the, oh, the Halloween sign, 217. So see, that's cheap. And then it's come down in price now to $1.87. <laughs> All right, next. Ooh, I'm glad I got these. All right, so, oh, these are bigger than I thought they would be. You don't hear that on, on Timu hauls very often. So this came, this is a four piece set of those super soft microfiber beauty cloths that you use to remove your makeup and to wash your face. I have, um, I got one of these either in a Ipsy box or a FabFitFun box. I don't remember at this point, but my, one of my daughters stole it. It was a pink one. So I decided I would get some more and I have, I've mentioned on here before, I used to sell Norwex. So I've got the Norwex face and body cloths, but these are so soft that I really wanted to do, I wanna start doing nicer things for my face. <laughs> so, so yeah, so I got these and, um, oh, they feel so nice. Blankets are so nice when they're made like this. Okay, so where are these, okay. These, I paid $5.07 for four of them, and this particular seller was sold out, but other people had them, um, and you can get them in different quantities as well, but the one that was closest to this is now $5.32, but yeah, oh, and now 
you know, if one of my kids, I've got three daughters, one of them's already got one of these, but now if the other two steal one, it'll be okay because I'll still have two left. Oh, all right. <laughs> so next, I thought this was cute. This is a bag, like a little canvas bag that you could put makeup or stuff in your purse. Um, So some people know this, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's common knowledge, but, but, um, oh, and it's, oh, it's not printed very well over here, is it? It kind of, it kind of, um, it's like they printed twice and it didn't quite line up. So that's kind of a bummer, but my husband said he was going to steal this anyway, because he thought it was cute. You'll put like electronics or something in it. But a lot of people don't know that a group of crows is called a murder. And there's only two crows. <laughs> That's why it's an attempted murder. So I just thought it was cute because, you know, of the, it is cute. So, but it's a, it's a canvas like bag. Um, nothing special. It doesn't expand at the bottom or anything. Um, but this would make, these make good little makeup bags for purses and stuff. And like I said, my husband will probably put electronics and stuff, but I'm really bummed about this. But what did I pay for this? I paid $236 and I think I would expect better printing for $236. That's like a high price on Timu. It's not really. But now it's gone up in price to $241. So yeah, so it's almost, or maybe it was like stenciled I don't know but um yeah I guess I don't care that he's gonna steal it because that would bug me all right next well this is not anything interesting but we'll talk about it anyway this is um a power strip mounting um mount I guess but it's designed so that you can wrap the cord because a lot of power strips have pretty long cords and sometimes you don't need all that. So this is designed, um, I don't want to pull it apart in case it's not supposed to come apart, um, but it's designed to wrap the cord around or part of the cord around and it can come through there. Um, what is going on here? So, I don't know if it's supposed to come with two pieces of tape or if one was just accidentally stuck to the other and I got a bonus one. Um, but I think you'd only use one of these at a time. And it fits in the back so you can... Oh, duh. You gotta put... <laughs> got to put the other one on this side because you need one side that goes on the wall sticks to the wall and the other one that sticks to the power strip duh <laughs> so it's a good thing I I have you guys to help keep me straight but yeah so um this was 217 and it's price adjusted down to 199 and I'm gonna probably lose these pieces of tape Right next, okay, now let's go to Christmas. We had Thanksgiving, now let's do Christmas. So they have all kinds of gift cards on Timu. I mean, you gotta kind of be careful because they do come sometimes a little bent up, especially when you get stuff crammed in a Timu bag. But they have a lot of pop-up cards. So all of these are pop-ups. Um, that I plan to give to people for Christmas. Um, but yeah, you can see it's got a little, so you might have to work with some of these. Now this is a, so this is the envelope and it's, um, what is this called? Oh, that's going to drive me nuts because I used to use this material all the time in making cards. What is this called? Darn it. I can't think of it. But anyway, um, so it's a nice quality, is it spelled right? Yep, it's spelled right um, with gold foil lettering and snowflakes. And then, okay, well the, 
it's not taped here so you might have to tape it unless they just assume okay so this has um, this part has cut out so that you would punch it out to go through this and maybe they just figure that's enough to keep it held together and they don't want it taped down but anyway it's for what it's called okay whatever you ladies that also make cards are yelling at the screen telling me what it is so then here's the card it's interesting that the envelope is gold but the card is silver but it's still uh, Merry Christmas with snowflakes it seems centered pretty well and everything is spelled correctly and then on all these pop-up cards, whether it's a pop-up box or whatever, they provide you a specific place to put your message, which is usually in a weird place for a normal card, but it's because it's a pop-up. And then it's pretty. It's, it's all lined in foil and then the same material that the envelope is, only this one's iridescent. And what does the message say? Wishing you a season. I have to move the tree to see all of it. Wishing you a season of joy. A season of cheer, but most of all, a wonderful year. Merry Christmas. And then it would just stand. It's got a stand here. So it would just stand and be a decoration, but it's super pretty. And they had this in different colors. You could get different colored trees, but I really liked the, I have a white Christmas tree myself. So I really liked this one. So this card was 336, which that's really great. I feel like a card like this in a drugstore or Hallmark or something would be five, six bucks, but this was 336 and it's price adjusted down to 322. Okay, I've got to hydrate. If you need to hydrate, um, take a pause and go get yourself something. All right, next, this is a pack of six Christmas cards. I really should put that card back in its plastic sleeve. Hang on. Last thing we want to do is ruin the card before we can give it to somebody. The little angel light keeps lighting up over there. So apparently you don't have to be touching the solar panel for it to... Maybe that's what the switch is for. It just puts it on a Rota some kind of lighting rotation. Okay. Looks like there's maybe six different colors as well. So they come wrapped in plastic and then each individual card is also in plastic. I think, are they all the same? I think, oh. They all have the exact same message on the outside. So these are the colors that came in the set. This one's brownish burgundy. And then a bright blue and a navy blue. All right, let's just open one. Let's open the red one. This pack of six cards was $5.28 and it's price adjusted down to $5.20. Oh. Okay, well this wraps around. Um, maybe I don't have to take it all the way out. Well, yeah, I guess I sort of do. So it's got, the envelope is just plain. I'll leave that in there. And then the card, so this one's a little bit banged up in the corner. But you know, if you're mailing these, um, they would have no idea if it came to you banged up or if it got to them banged up, right? Because it could get banged up on the way to them as well. Um, there's nothing on the back of this one. And all of these said, have yourself a merry little Christmas. 
and it is spelled correctly. And then these just sit like this. You know what? Now I'm going to have to open another one because I wonder if they all have the same scene inside. And then it gives you a spot to write your message down here. But then here we got the cute little snowman, snowman scene. So let's just see. Let's see if one of the other ones. Oh, and it's got a little sticker here to seal the envelope with. What is on it? That just says Merry Christmas and it's a present. So that's nice. That's a really good deal for $5.20 now for six cards. I mean, that's less than a dollar a card for a pop-up. But yeah, let's see if they all have the same scene inside because I can't remember. We'll just pick, let's pick the yellow. I'm trying to pick ones that are a little bit easier to see maybe. So yeah, I guess if you were, I don't know, that's probably, never mind. I was going to say, I guess if you were giving this to someone, you could just leave it in the plastic, but that maybe is silly. So again, it's a plain envelope and it's got, it's got, you can't see it, but it's, it has the little sticker in there. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Okay. So all of the scenes are different. So that's nice. I'm not going to open them all so you can see what they all are. Hopefully there's a picture online that would show you, but, but, um, this one's Holly Jolly. And do they say anything? Oh, they do. May the joy of this holiday season fill your heart with happiness. I didn't read that. The other ones, I don't know what it says, but it's very, so it's got a deer up there at the top and then the little message. So these are cute. This is a really good buy. Um, I feel like this is a good deal. I'm going to have to get more of these because I only got seven, I guess, with all of these. And I work with more people than seven people. And I, so we don't really send out cards for Christmas. Um, I know that's important to a lot of people, especially from my, like my parents. That's like their, you know, before Facebook and everything, that was sometimes their primary way of communicating with friends that they don't see anymore was getting the annual Christmas card with all the details about the family and stuff. Well, I've just never, I've never gotten into that stuff. Um, even though I made cards. Um, so last year was probably kind of the first year that I really did send out cards, but I'm more, I'm more like, liked making birthday cards. Although I don't send out a lot of birthday cards either. See, that's the thing. I do these things, but then I don't follow through. But, um, but yeah, I like getting cards for people I work with because it's real easy. Usually there's a Christmas party and you can just hand them out. Um, and it's a good size for gift cards too. All right. Next, satin pillowcases. So, you know, I got to thinking, I, you know, listening to a lot of you, uh, what is on my finger now? Oh, there's like glue stuck to my finger. I wonder if that was probably from the wrapping on the... So I still have this nail. It's not broken off all the way yet. It's almost to the point where I could cut it and not bleed. <sighs> it's going to be a sad day. All right. So anyway, as I was saying, satin pillowcases. Um, we bought bamboo sheets um, for our bed because they were supposed to be cooling and the ones we got were not, and we got them off of Amazon. So I, I, and they had good reviews, but they weren't. So part of the, part of the reason I got these is I thought it would be sort of cooling, but also I thought it would be better for my hair and possibly better for my skin. Um, I also used to have, well, I still have, um, pillowcases from Norwex because their whole thing is um, kind of antibacterial because they've got the copper that runs through and kind of keeps the bacteria from growing or whatever. And I thought that would be good for my skin, but it was not. It was almost like suffocating, I think, because I, 
I tend to sleep on this side and I don't roll around a lot. Um, and so it was kind of, it, it wasn't very breathable. And this may not be either. I mean, I haven't had satin sheets since I was probably in middle school. Um, so I don't know, but it should be better for my hair, I would think. But um, I have a Vera Bradley um, bed quilt spread thing on my bed that is, it's kind of a little bit darker than this color and it's her fish pattern. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's got like um, this color and red and black and teal fish on it. But it's it's kind of a feels like a geometric thing, even though it's fish. But um, but yeah. So this will match with that, and we'll see. We'll see if it helps anything. All right. Oh. And that cost, my lips are getting so dry. Do I have some Blistec? <laughs> Sorry. I've been wearing that um, lipstick that I got in a recent haul that was a color I was kind of surprised. Is it on my teeth? Um, but it's kind of a matte, so it's it's kind of drying and today I kind of feel um, like I could chew skin off my, my lips. So I need to hydrate them more. I always, before I go to bed, I always put chapstick or Blistec on my lips, um, which sometimes means I end up getting zits around the edges of my lips, but my lips dry out really easy. All right, okay, so in my whole pursuit of coin collecting, I had to get a Bitcoin. <laughs> so this is of course a commemorative because there is no actual physical money for Bitcoin. But I still wanted one of these. So um, I feel like it probably said in the description of it, like like, I feel like it was commemorating a certain year, but let's just see. What does this say? Bitcoin Digital Decentralized Peer-to-Peer. -peer. What does it say down here? One... Oh, one tro, that's, I don't know what that's supposed to say, but it's something ounce, 999 fine copper, MJB monetary metals. Hmm. I just got it because it's pretty. <laughs> but this was, and it's nice, it came with a, a case. Um, this was a dollar forty-eight, um, and it's now a dollar forty-four. See, when I'm sitting back here, I can't see. I'd be like here. I guess I can sort of see that. I I can't get my chair closer because this table is lower, and I keep hitting my knee. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm I really like that. All right, so next another shirt this one's kind of a wild one for me too not color wise but style wise and this is a 2x and this is a this is a soft sweatery kind of waffle waffle um print fabric whatever <laughs> shiny kind of sleeves they feel more like like silky rayon kind of sleeves so anyway, it's got a white top and then it's, it's like a brownish gray. Um, it seems really wide, but I got a 2X. And so it's just basic, the center is just basic waffle with this, you know, two-tone. And then the sleeves, the sleeves are where the fun is. 
And this kind of reminds me of my grandma, like <laughs> somewhere in granny clothes now. But, but um, you know, this kind of, although there's no paisley on this, this is like flowers and flowers. It's all flowers. But it still kind of reminds me of a paisley kind of a thing. And this probably would have been kind of a popular style when my grandma was younger. But yeah, so I thought this was pretty, but again, it's kind of outside of my style, stylistic choices, but I'm trying new things. Um, and so this, let's see what it's made out of. But yeah, this is really soft. Um, I'm trying to see if it's, it's not really too see-through, so that's good. All right, so this is... 95% polyester, 5% elastane. It's weird because you know the sleeve is different than than the torso, but yet you've only got the one tag. Um, machine wash cold, line dry in the shade. Well, we'll just air dry in the dryer. And I don't know, I because of this waffle print, it makes it feel kind of sweatery, so I might wash it in one of those protective mesh bags. But, um, but yeah, I think it's really pretty. On me, I will probably have to wear a white bra or a strapless bra because, um, well, most people might because otherwise it'll show through there. But yeah, that's pretty. Um, and this, what did I pay for this? shirt <laughs> i paid 11.59 but it has gone up to 14.47 now and like i've been saying i think some of these long sleeve more fall like things are going up a little bit in price now that we're getting into that season all right this is a makeup brush cleaner and i've i've gotten i'm pretty sure i got another cleaner on here before one that had kind of a silicone cover, kind of like this, but then it also had the black rough part on the inside that you could, you know, kind of more dry clean your brush. But I liked this one because um, it's got these different um, textures on it, but then it's got the um, suction cups on the back. So that way you could stick it to your sink or to your mirror or even to your wall while you're cleaning your brush, probably not your wall because then you might have makeup running down your wall. So maybe more of the sink, um, but then it won't move while you're trying to use it. And so, yeah, so this was what did I call this brush cleaner? I paid 173 and it's now up to one. No, I paid 170 and it's now up to 173. I'm gonna put this. Oh, my makeup bag is covered, so I'll just put it over here. All right, we're down to the last item. Shoes, how surprising. <laughs> well, sandals to be more specific. Because it makes sense to buy all these sandals as we're going into fall. But I really liked these and I I let them sit for a while they sat in my cart for a long time before I finally pulled the trigger um, but it's got a nice kind of I don't know that you'd call it snake skin and it doesn't really look like anything but it it's it's like kind of a faux thing like that I don't know but it's a it's kind of a brick red color brick to cherry red maybe i don't know it's not a it's not a vibrant red um really simple sandal it it's there's not much cush here which is okay for me for a sandal um the inside of this is kind of got a um i don't know how to describe it but it's it's kind of got a it's not a rubbery coating, but it's, it's soft, but it's not like a velvety 
kind of, um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe that, but, um, and it's not, it's not like the faux leather either. It's just, I don't know, but it's soft. So it won't, it won't, it doesn't feel like it would rub. And the edges of this are finished. Some of the shoot sandals that I've been getting on Timu, the edges are not finished. They've just been cu cut, um, but these are finished. So that, that shouldn't um, aggravate either. And then I get these in a size seven and a half, which is a 38. You know, some of my shoes, tennis shoes that I've bought in size eight also say 38. So the sizes aren't different depending on whether they're sandals or tennis shoes, are they? That doesn't make sense. So I wonder if that means I've gotten some that are the wrong size or if they were just labeled wrong. I don't know, but this is what the base looks or the sole looks like. But yeah, they're super pretty. Um, and so these were, I paid $11.98 and they're now up to $12.11. Um, I would think these would start to go down in price as we get, although maybe not because people all over the world are ordering from Timu. So, so who knows? All right. Well, I'm, I did it. I got it in before the family got home. Yay. Um, and I didn't have to, um, my camera didn't stop, so I don't have to splice this later, which means it should be easier and quicker for me to get it uploaded and into the schedule, um, scheduled releases. Um, I think I had, so in my timeline where I am today, um, I did have a video, my last of the three lost video series posted today. So, um, I've been trying to get content done. So I apologize if you're somebody who likes to watch people more live ish. Um, these last few aren't going to feel live ish. So if something really huge happens or somebody really important dies in the next few days, I'm not going to know about it on this <laughs> video. Hopefully that doesn't happen and everything just stays static quo. No wars, no more wars break out or no assassinations or, you know, anything weird, you know, that, that it would be like I should be mentioning in this video. Um, but in the time where I'm living right now, everything's hunky dory. So I hope it's hunky dory in your life too. Thank you so much for stopping and watching. Um, I know that there are so many better ones out there cause I watch those <laughs> and I enjoy those. So if you stopped and took time to watch mine, thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And if you want to click like, um, please subscribe. I'm still looking for subscribers and, um, I'm hoping that, you know, once I start building up my subscriber base, I'd really like to do some giveaways over time, but I can't afford to do that yet. Um, cause I got to keep kind of pumping, pumping, you know, what few dollars I have into more product, which I could give away. So I guess I need to think about that more, don't I? <laughs> so, but anywho, <laughs> thanks for watching. And I hope wherever you are, you have a great rest of your day. And I'm hoping to get some more things recorded tomorrow and just keep pumping this stuff out. But um, thank you so much. And once again, have a great rest of your day. Bye.